John, you cannot sell your boat for me. Where are you going to live? Well, don't you think we're ready? Ready for what? Well, I thought that I, you know, might move out here. Here? Out here? With Josie and me? Here, we... With you and, and, and Josie? Well, uh, no, I thought uh, no. this is a little sad. Do you think this no, is a No, no. Uh, you I thought that I meant out here. I know here, that I said here, I needed a man no, around the house I, I liked it. No, let, my mother's farm. I mean, I to throw John, a rock and hit the farm from here. It's that, that close. I, I thought, I mean, I was, I'd come over here and help you out. That's what I meant. Oh. I was there is oh, where oh. I would stay. <laughs> this was for, this is just the money. <laughs> for the money, <laughs> sure, for the money. <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you going to be a farmer or something? No, I'm not going to. No, I don't know anything about farming. I have a business to John, run. John, I have another idea. Better than mine? Yeah. You know those papers that Jason made me sign? Yeah. Well, everything that was his is now mine. All of his debts and his half of frame construction. So? So? So Frame Construction has a new partner now. One who is going to help you make this business a success. So keep your old boat, partner. Fanny? Who's Mrs. Kramer? Abigail. What? Abigail Kramer. My stepfather's sister. Noah's sister? Shh, keep your voice down. You don't want to jar her. She was married to Mr. Kramer, but I never met him. Good going, Felicia. That a girl. What? Are you back with us, Felicia? Got it? Are you okay? I'm right here. Mitch? Damn it. Yeah, you're fine. What happened? Did I faint or something? So the, the woman that we saw Christmas Eve at the boarding house was Noah's sister, Mitch. What? What are you talking about? What? Do you remember anything you just said? And Jason must have called her after he found Felicia's Christmas card to Noah. What do you think he wanted? I don't know, but there's one thing that's certain. Jason must have scared the hell out of Mrs. Kramer. But why? Because he knew about the past, or he bluffed her into thinking that he knew about the past. Would you please tell me what's going this on This is a real here? breakthrough, Mitch. I want to see what a doctor has to say. Please, can somebody honey, talk to me? Honey, we're really getting somewhere. What happened? You told us who Mrs. Kramer is. Who is she? Abigail. You remembered that she was Noah's sister. Noah's sister, Abigail, yes. Yeah, but she was also the woman who ran the boarding house in Boston. Do you remember? Cass and I went and met her. That woman was Abigail? Yes. Okay, enough. Enough. It's okay. Cass. It's okay. Yeah. Can I talk to you? Yeah. If Abigail Kramer left town... She went to a retirement home, remember? Yeah, but does that mean she has something to hide? What do you think? The fact that Noah's been dead all this time? That's a good question. Well, what else would she be hiding? She was a very nervous woman. So Jason must have had no trouble at all scaring her off. I mean, she had a tough enough time with just Mitch and me talking to her. Well, what exactly did she say? Nothing exactly. She was very vague. What did she say? Well, she said that she was the one that was sending all of Felicia's letters back. That's it? And that Noah had moved out. Moved out? A second. Felicia said that Abigail was the one who was at the hospital when she was having the baby. So? And later on... She's the one who took Felicia to the boarding house, and she must have split for Boston after that. Where was Noah? Felicia thinks that he was already dead. Do you? I don't want to. Why? Because that would mean that Felicia was responsible for two accidental murders. The DA would have a field day with that. Okay, it's been 30 seconds since the last one. Why can't I remember how to breathe? <sighs> All those classes for nothing. And it's not as if I didn't practice. I did practice. I breathed. I blew. I effleurized. 45 seconds. Stop counting. You asked me to time the contractions. You're not out loud. Ah, oh, Jake! A minute. That's a minute on the dot. I need Jamie! Okay, Vicky, you stay right here. Where the hell do you think I'm gonna go? I need to 
to get you some help, all right? No, no, don't go. Don't go. Vicky, listen, I am not going to let anything happen to you. I promise. Okay? Is it over? I'm not ready for this. Listen to me. You are doing fine. No. I've done so many bad things in my life. And now I'm happy. And I'm with Jamie and, and the baby. And it's all got to end. I don't deserve this. Don't you talk like that. What if something happens to my baby? Nothing <laughs> is going to happen to you, baby. Oh. Everything's going to be fine. Baby. <laughs> Just going into labor, that's all. That's all. That's all. Everything that is happening to you is natural. <laughs> Why do I feel like this? Why am I so... Ask him! No, Jake, I will don't be right go. back, okay? Ah! Change of plans. What? Don't go where we met before. Well, why not? I won't be there. You have to stop this. I've been completely open and honest with you the entire time. Well, how do I know that? You can't keep testing me, making me jump through hoops to get information that you may or may not even have. Meet me at the corner of Pelham and Bay. Okay. And you'll give me all the information? Maybe. You have to stop playing games with me. If you care about Felicia or not, I mean, she could go to prison. She's an innocent woman. I know the truth about Fanny, but nobody, not you, or all your fancy lawyers would believe me. Everybody. All right, John, come here. Make sure. Here, Jake. Yeah, yeah. All Cheers. right, with a very hot chocolate, we're going to toast the two new partners, John and Charlene, and the success of Frame Construction. Here, here. Yeah, let's just hope we get along. <laughs> Wait till you see what kind of tyrant I am. Oh, boy, I can imagine that. Uh, especially since I know nothing about building, I know nothing about running a company. You've got a good teacher. Thank you. I just want to carry on the family name for my brothers. Frame Construction meant an awful lot to Steve. He was a terrific businessman. I know that. I know. He had such drive. When he wanted something, he went after it, and uh, he worked day and night. And it, with any luck at all, we're going to have a new little Steve. <laughs> no, only if it's a boy. <laughs> and this right. man has been so wonderful about being helpful around here. You can't... Well, I've enjoyed doing it, Charlene. But I really must get back to Vicky, you know? I, um, In I, this weather? Well, I, I think it's letting up a little bit, Charlene. Oh, sure. I think we can make it. Uh, uh, Jamie, they still have to plow that lane. What do you yeah. think, John? Well, I don't know, Rachel. Your car's pretty heavy. You ought to be able to make it. It's worth a try, I think. Yeah, but you can only turn around and come back. Listen, I'm going to script the windshields off, Mom, and I'll be right back. I'll give you a hand, Doc. Thanks a lot. You, you've talked to uh, Josie and Matthew? Yes, they're safe and sound at our house. Helen's making them suffer. Good. Josie get along with John? Yeah, sure. I'm sure she does. He's so charming. <laughs> I guess you've noticed that. Yes, I have. And he's available. You're really going to make me ask this, aren't you? Ask what? Wait. My cookies are in the oven. I don't want to burn them. Oh, no. Not so fast, Charlene. Tell him his wife's in labor. 
in her apartment and Jake McKinnon is with her. Damn. 